Okay, so for part B, in order to find the equation of the tangent, what I need to do is find the gradient of that tangent at P. So we can use the fact that we had been given that f dash x equals 3x squared minus the 6 minus 8 over x squared. And this gives us the gradient at any point x on the curve. So all I need to do is find the gradient at p, which will be when x is 2. So therefore, what I'm going to work out is that gradient, f dash of 2. And so I substitute for x a 2. So we get 3 lots of 2 squared minus 6 minus 8 over 2 squared. And if I do that, we get 4 here, 3 4s are 12, take away 6, that leaves me with 6, and 8 divided by 2 squared, that leaves me with 2, so eventually I get a total of 4. So therefore, I'm in a position now to establish the equation of the tangent at P. What I'm going to use is, I just put it over here, I'm going to use the form of a straight line, not y equals mx plus c. I find too many people often use y equals mx plus c and there's no need to do that here. We've got a point on the line, that's 2, 1, and we've got the gradient. So what I'm going to use is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. Hopefully you're familiar with this. x1, y1 represents a point on the curve or on the line. And we know that point. It's the point 2, 1. So x1 is going to be the 2 and y1 will be the 1. And m is the gradient. And the gradient is 4. So I'm just going to use this then. So, again, rather than just write down the answer, always give an introduction, okay, so it makes it easier for the examiners to read. Tell them what you're doing. So, at this point, I'm going to say, therefore, equation, okay, of the tangent at P, okay, is... Okay, and now drop to a new line, and I'm going to go straight in with this version. Okay, what it is then is y minus y1, which was the y coordinate then at p, so that's 1, equals m, the gradient, which is 4. Then it's going to be x minus x1, the x coordinate at p, which was 2. Okay? Now I know this now is not in the form y equals mx plus c, but we're going to head that way by just expanding this bracket. So we get, therefore, y minus 1 equals 4x minus 8. And if I add 1 to both sides, I get y equals 4x minus 7. And this is now in the form y equals mx plus c. Okay, so hope you've got that and uh, well done if you got it right.